You are about to witness the transformation of a mild-mannered teacher into a fire-breathing metal monster. This is actual behind-the-scenes footage of a madman in his natural habitat. Do not be alarmed. Do not attempt to adjust your video-watching thingy. Just sit back, relax, and watch as a song is written and recorded right before your very eyes. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my uh, dinky little car with SpongeBob floor mats. And um, I'm driving over to John's house where I'm recording the vocals, um, where I've recorded all the vocals for the Solomores debut album. And um, I wanted to walk you through the process of taking a song from demo to all the way up to finished product and um, so this is the perfect song to do it. This is song number 12, uh, and that's currently the name of the song. We don't have another name because I haven't finished the lyrics. I've just kind of penciled in some lyrics that I think should fit this song. Um, thematically, with the rest of the record, I know it will fit the song, but I don't know if it's gonna fit the music. Um, if, you're, uh, if you've ever recorded or written vocals for a song, you know that feeling. So anyway, it's going to be a little bit embarrassing probably um, showing you all of the ins and outs of this, but um, I want to just walk you through the process and show you how I go f we go from um, you know getting demo tracks from Alex um, with just guitars and rough and click track to putting this thing together and getting it on the album. So um, I've got my tools in the passenger seat with me. My... Uh, crock pot full of cheesy uh, salsa dip, my chips, and uh, of course my laptop, which has all the lyrics and all that good stuff. Um, but uh, anyway, so just hang in there, and uh, I'm almost to John's house. Um, yes, I am driving and filming myself, um, but I am, I started when I was in his neighborhood, so it's a little bit deceiving how dangerous I'm being right now, living on the edge. Not really. So anyway, hang on. Um. <laughs> This is officially me at making lyrics up on the fly. <laughs> uh, dang it. There's the mic. What you thought Jason. were the... the surest paths <laughs> turn out to be closed. I don't know. Another dimension has merged with your own. Okay, cool. Alright, second line is an altered state of consciousness has been awakened. Alright, let's try that. I'm going to start you there, but bring you in on the top track. Okay. As much with your uh, an altered state of consciousness has been a <laughs> Yeah, one more time. Let me hear it so I can figure out what words I'm doing here. A greater purpose is becoming known. All right. A greater purpose is becoming known. <laughs> oh, great. I'm gonna start you like somewhere amidst the other phrase, and I'll bring you in just so you know where you're at. It's kind of a weird. Okay. Then, right? Yeah. A greater purpose is becoming known. That was horrible. Do it again. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't. On time. That wasn't on time at all, and <laughs> I had the other track in there too, so that was not. That's fine. Oh, God, then. Ah. Crap. What's the words again? Uh, a greater, a greater purpose, a is, greater becoming purpose is becoming known. Okay. okay. All right. So, yeah, let's hear the fourth. Let's uh, figure out what the fourth line is and how it's going to go in there. Uh, 
the pillars of reality have been shaken. Oh, oh Dan Ugla. Oh, watching the Braves game. All right. Pillars of reality have been shaken. No. All right, let's do it. The one place I can't be told to turn off the game. I'm trying to film this part here. Hmm? I'm going to try to film this part. Let's see. Oh, okay. All right. I'm going to let let you have that whole phrase before it to lead in. Okay. Here we go. The pillars of reality have been shaken! Cool. We got kind of close on that. Maybe one more time. I don't know. We'll see. This is the second uh, verse. No. Well, we can do the we can do the the black metal part in the middle. I just have to figure out what lyrics go there. I mean, I've got the lyrics in like in my phone, but I don't know what rhythms they go. So let me figure that out real quick. When all else fails and you need more lyrics for your song, you just Google famous quotes from Lord of the Rings, and then you're bound to find something that you can use in a metal song. Ooh. All right, what are we gonna add the the low? Double low growls, we can. You want to do that now? Yeah, let's get it done. All right, get her done. Cool. Double. Double, double, double. So that so the kids can hear what we got. <laughs> that was a little loud. Hold on. I don't think the timing's right on a few of those. We have to go back and okay. tweak. But at least we got the section kind of mapped out, which is nice. Sometimes the performance is good enough, but the timing's not. And you just have to nudge it around until the timing's right. Right? Yes. Right. 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 Right, right. Think that. Uh, maybe a little bit before that, so I can take a breath. Actually, your deepest scars. Your deepest scars. Okay. We We're can. Just gonna let you hear that. Oh yeah, yeah. Just well, go ahead, uh, go ahead on past that part, and let me do the your brokenness part, if that's the word. It's the same pattern as what you just did. Well, yeah, it's like the because one A B A, yeah, kind of thing. I liked that one, so let's just pick up the not the next phrase, but the one after that, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna mute the other track for the moment. Sounds good. Your, uh, sorry. <clears throat> uh, maybe keep the other track in there so I can. It's hard to know what's going on. Here you go. Your brokenness. Did I clip anything? No. Sweet. Who crushed with the world is breathing. 